They, they, not just a job. They, no, they ain't even a job no more. They hustlers. They worse than the drug dealers because they only joining the force to hustle. I mean, look they at robbing Memphis. us. They mistreating yeah. us. They ain't. Oh, that situation. Yeah, Memphis. Memphis, the scorpion situation. I, 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 I just. I, I mean, I've been in the situations like, it's just like you know, like that on uh, the gang squad and narcotics and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and even as a regular patrolman, man, I, I cannot understand. What promote them to go to that left like that unless it was some personal shit. It had to be something personal to do that to a human being which hadn't caused a threat. It's a, uh, not saying a routine. Was it a routine traffic stop? I don't know what the young man did. But I heard he was driving a car and for it to escalate as a, as a traffic. Or a traffic stop. A traffic stop to escalate to kill it. Fag, I mean, come on, you might as well just shot him. Shot, shoot him and say he right. had a gesture <laughs> move to, to try yeah, to. Right. Why you you beat him and, and I, mean, I I just don't understand. It. I don't understand. It. And only thing I can say from a not from a perspective of a police officer, a former police officer, retiree, but just being a man and person. Somebody knew him. There had to be something. Yeah. There had to be a backstory. There had to be. Yeah. Had to be, for sure. You know. And uh, that's wrong. God don't want that. No, that was a, that was a tough one. And, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's it's bad cops like that that no, make you forget so about good cops like, like you. Like you. I never put my hands on people like that, man. Never, never, never. Because I catch you halfway wrong. It's our it, in our innate existence. We human beings with the virtue of God, the godliness in us. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we cry, we mourn. So if you've done something wrong, CB, if I've done something wrong, Dice, if you've done something wrong, the humility in us will say, hey man, I was wrong. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Yeah. Especially when you get caught up and you in front of a judge, stuff like mm -hmm. that, and have to dictate where your life gonna be. You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand that situation like that, man, is some personal shit. And I know cops, we have a subculture that's a little bit different than from the average civilian. Because civilians, they don't live by a creed. We do. We don't leave each other hanging. If you messed up, your wife is messed up, or whatever, we gonna help you. Yeah. And money, you ain't gotta worry about that. We'll pay your whole house note for two or three years we have to. Fundraisers, of course. Right. But you know what I'm saying. But you know, we, 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 we don't leave people hanging like that. So I do. I always move. donate to every charity. The police That's come right. by. Right. Right. Police, police come Real by. Move. Hey, go ahead, Junior. Uh, you know we got. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Good to be have us. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Know. I'll make sure I just contribute to That's all that. affairs. That's right. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. But uh, the, the the Memphis situation we have a, a young man. Life is just gone uh, outside of the police family. Yeah. Been gone too. And I tell you. If they can't come up with something that's justifiable uh, with that, they need to go to prison. Yeah. That's yeah. That's a rough one. That's a rough one. Well, I want to say, man, thank you for coming to the show. Appreciate you. Thank man. you for yeah, your man. years of service as a Detroiter, yeah, a native Detroiter. Thank still you. Still here, for man. We still doing it, man. For, for sure. your years of service to the city. Absolutely, man. Um, we really do need more of your kind, people who come from your cloth back in law enforcement. Absolutely. For real. Really. We'll come out because it'd be it'd be a different world, man. If there was right. 200, 300 more of you right now out on the street, because so, see, you're a guy that these cats, these young cats can respect, man. They can relate and to them. They can relate to them. You know what I'm saying? And when you say something to them, they might actually one of these knuckleheads be like, "Oh, G, actually trying to pull my coat." Absolutely. He ain't trying really to jam me up, and the only reason he jammed me up is because I'm a knucklehead, and he been telling me. But um, support. So again, 
Thank you for your years of support, man. man. Thank you for coming by the show. We gonna get together with your man on that uh, on that vodka on that vodka business. And Blaze and Sevens, Blaze and Sevens is about to be going down. You know, that's what we do. So it's your man. You got on an extended lunch break. Al Prof, oh, yeah. Al Prof and American Dope over there. We're gonna be at Kelly next month, man. Yeah. <laughs> got it. I got the new spot on Pacific Coast Highway. Okay. Side of Sinister Monopoly. All right. I got, desert, I got the desert estate a block from, I mean, a mile from the Kardashians. Oh. And I got the downtown. And I got the Porsche. And I got the 64. Ouch. It's going down, America. <laughs> down. I knew him when he was broke, y'all. Before he started getting all this money, I knew him when he was broke. I did. Before he was getting all this money. Before they knew his name at the airport and all that shit. <laughs> no, no, Al's done a, fa been, done a fabulous job and what he's done with American Dope is just awesome. Um, so, yeah, we got, as always, um, we got a Big Boss Filmworks, American Dope. And you Dope, guys collab. got lots of products. Oh, yeah, so, you know, YouTube. Um, make sure you guys are hitting that like, share, and subscribe button. You can check out the so same my, content. My, my voice is gone. Uh, you know, too many interviews. I told you you're getting too much money, man. Yeah, it's all, but it's, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Count money with my voice because I ain't got enough hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, make sure you guys are hitting that like, share, subscribe button. Yeah, you got on Amazon Prime, directed by and our co-executive producer, other producer there, Motown Mafia, the story of Eddie Jackson and Courtney Brown, available on Tubi TV and Amazon Prime. Don't forget to YouTube Big Boss Filmworks. That's right. YouTube Big <laughs> Boss Filmworks, and of course, American Dope. And we're um, live on Facebook right now, so uh, hit us a like. We started a preliminary talk, Motown Mafia, the documentary part two. We got to make that happen. Um, with, that money, with that bag at With a bag at yeah. it, and, and, all, and all of that. So it's going down, family. Thanks to everybody out there. Um, <clears throat> anything else when you're headed back to Cali? I'm going to Houston. You, you leaving the D, you heading to Houston? On Sunday morning. Sunday morning. And then I'll be in California. <laughs> we have a certain. Battle of play. All right, I'll be there Monday. <laughs>it's time to really tell a, a great untold Detroit story because it kind of covers Detroit at its at its zenith. Very interesting story. We decided that we were going to make a movie. All right, Rich Rossi with you and with Motown Mafia. I'm with Courtney Lewis Stevens. Lewis Stevens, Courtney Brown. Uh, Courtney Brown Jr. And uh, Alan Al Prophet Bradley. 
this is an entrepreneurial, inspirational story too. Because again, you know, I'm a real estate retail guy. You know, that's what my skill set is. Um, but I'm a businessman, so I was like, you know, we just we're gonna do it. You know, sometimes when you got a dream, you won't have all the answers on how you're gonna do what you're gonna do. But what made this one unique was not so much the crime, but the intertwining with Detroit's history and the Motown era and kind of the economic decline of Detroit and it's really the story of uh, a family and from some perspectives it's has a happy ending like you said for others it didn't have a happy, <laughs> happy ending right right